Hello Gemini, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is your May 2020 tarot reading for the sign of Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. I hope you are Gemini and staying safe hopefully. So I'm just going to pull an overarching tarot card. This is the Druid Tarot deck, another of my favourite decks. So what do we have, Angel Spirits card Guides for Gemini, our lovely Geminis. These cards are a little bit big, but I don't like shuffling the other way. <laughs> so what do we have, please, Angel Spirits Guide? What is the message? Thank you. Oh, nice. Very nice. We have Rebirth. And you know, that's what Saturn in Aquarius is all about. What do you need to release, let go, in order to be your authentic self, in order to step into your true light? It's beautiful energy. Um, this is the Judgment card. This is a deep card of, of Pluto, the planet of death, destruction, transformation, rebirth. So, for some of you, this is about letting go of the old and really embracing the new which is a big message for all of us with the age of Aquarius now it is what is holding us back what is stopping us from moving forward what is stopping us from thinking bigger because now is the time to release from it so it's a really nice collective message but also for you Gemini it's a poignant message it's a call to action to step into your light now release the old. Sometimes judgment can be the second chance card. It can also be a decision, a final decision, karmic choices. Knowing that choices that you make have consequences, positive or negative. Something that you have to live with for a while. But it's a beautiful wake up call message now is the time to release what's gone because you've learned the lessons that you needed to learn this is the end of the karmic lessons being learnt here with the rebirth card and it's saying that powerful karma is on your side what do we have for Gemini please angel spirits guides trust this can be about trust your instincts, trust you. Trust that things will get better. This is a, just a message of trust, believe. And I feel with the judgment card you are being guided. What do we have for Gemini, please? Angel Spirits Guides. Message for our lovely Geminis. This is the Sacred Traveller Oracle Deck. Message for Gemini, please. Angel Spirits Guides. Thank you. It's time to enjoy the journey. We have the Wandering Path. And I feel for some of you, it is a call to action to release what's gone and move forward, move on. And it might well be that you don't see the full picture right now, but you have to trust your intuition, trust that you're being guided. You know, it's a nice message actually, Gemini as well. Sometimes it's not just about the end goal, it is about enjoying the journey and getting there, isn't it? Enjoy the experience as well. It's a nice expansive opportunity. Let's see what else we get. So on the left hand side, I'm gonna pull four general energies for the month. And then on the right hand side, we will look at money and love and, sorry, money and career and love and romance. So what do we have? Okay. We have the 10 of wands and the 10 of cups. Seven of Swords and the Fool.
Three of Pentacles. Let's have a look at love and romance first, please, for Gemini for May 2020. Love and romance, please, for May 2020 for Gemini. Thank you. Page of Swords. Okay, thank you. Knight of Wands. I'm going to pull one more. Nine of Pentacles. And Money. We have the Page of Pentacles. The Five of Cups. And the Emperor. Very good. Very nice, Gemini. So we have a card of rebirth, of letting go, because you've learnt lessons that you needed to learn here. And this is all part of the life experience, you know, you don't always see what's coming, but this is about just trusting that things are going to get better. Gemini, the Fool is a card of Uranus. There's a wonderful feeling of liberation here from whatever the Seven of Swords was. Seven of Swords can be about deception lies. Some of you may well have gone through some deception in your external environment. This can also be a big message of don't hold yourself back from moving forward on the path to a new beginning, embracing the new, taking a chance on something now. Um, there's a nice feeling of release, of liberation, liberation from something with the full energy. Like I said, because it can be a, a, a bit of a message of you're seeing the bigger picture. You're getting a bird's eye perspective of your situation and how to move forward now. And how to move on. You see the fool's back is towards this card. So I do feel very strongly that some of you may have gone through some deception, lies. Not everything being what it seemed to be with a person or a situation. But I just feel this is somebody who is turning their back and refocusing on the path ahead enjoy the journey and trust trust that things will get better it's the call to action to move on because I do feel Gemini that even though it has been challenging even though it has weighed heavily on you you are rebuilding something far more solid, more secure, that will ultimately lead to greater happiness in your life. Now that could be in love, that could be in terms of just, I mean the Ten of Cups is a card of success. And the, the Ten of Wands, uh, Saturn in Sagittarius, this is somebody who is overcoming life tests. And coming through the other side of a situation, the Ten is the completion. So I feel some of you are being told to refocus on bringing greater value into your life now. Because it's leading somewhere more fulfilling. The rainbow of blessings. The happy ever after. Whatever happy ever after means to you. Now, it might well be some of you might be refocusing on your money and career. Prog uh, career if you've been disappointed in relationships. And this is Mars in Capricorn. Some, you know, really understanding how to be ultra focused and in the zone to bring and manifest money success greater value solid foundations to build upon so it's a beautiful message that will ultimately lead to the ten of cups and this card is a card of success it is a card of achievement it is a card of being fulfilled on every level, work-wise, money-wise, home-wise, relationship-wise. Something was obviously not good enough. Something didn't match the standards. 
something was challenging for you to push past and yet I do feel you are now focused on achieving a new goal greater happiness fulfillment and success in your life either in relationships or in your own right because I certainly feel with the rebirth card you are stepping into your own light this is a journey of individual to you and it might come after you dealt with difficult news or difficult truths with the page of swords sometimes this can be about difficult news or difficult truths you might be getting your head around a situation certainly with the knight of wands I think you were getting back on the horse if you felt you fell off if you felt those burdens were too difficult to carry at some point I certainly feel that you've been working through doing the positive things practically focusing on bringing greater value into your life and turning things around and certainly the Knight of sorry the Knight of Wands is somebody who is absolutely finding direction. This is the green light to go. This is absolutely somebody in their power charging ahead. Now sometimes the Knight of Wands can represent an opportunity. It could be a person coming into your life in love. It can also be um, an opportunity that promises real growth in terms of business and career but if this is you Gemini the Knight of Wands is somebody who is in their power just chomping at the bit to go and um, because they're finding direction they're moving on from what's gone they're putting whatever this was behind them whatever the Seven of Swords was behind them and charging forward now and there's a promise here of you standing in your value, self-worth, self-esteem. This can be a card of healing completed. Um, but it can also be a card of just going for opportunity, furthering yourself on the career front, finding progress and bringing more money, reward, success into your life by putting in the hard work. Like I said, the Ten of, ten of Cups is the productivity pays off this is a card of hard work relationships take hard work the money the property the setting takes hard work to pay for you know this is this is an energy of when you put in the effort you will get the reward long term and it is the divine energy as well shining on you I certainly feel for some of you that there is a very good opportunity I mean generally also this is somebody who is independent standing in their own success so if you have had a split in relationships Gemini this is you standing in your own power and your own success fulfilling your potential by the hard work the effort the focus that you put into something now because we've gone a three from a three to a nine of pentacles so there is growth absolutely in the money front but also bringing greater value into yourself and um, value reward self-esteem self-worth as well it is focusing you know there's a nice message here as well Gemini that you know certainly with what's going on in the external environment there are things that are beyond our control but there are also things that are within our control and the page of Pentacles is saying do the practical things that you can focus on that you can bring growth in now that you that brings greater value reward security stability into your life rather than focusing on something that is gone if you look back at what's gone that can be lost relationships, lost jobs, um, lost friendships, whatever this is, the Five of Cups, you only get more lack. Whereas if, if you focus on doing the productive things in life now, the practical things, I mean, this could be, you know, new connection, an opportunity to um, speak to somebody about a business opportunity. It might well be in terms of your money and your career in particular. You're focusing on bringing greater growth into your life. New job opportunities. Doing your CV. 
um, sorting contracts out, working hard to get the promotion, the bonus. Um, this can also be doing uh, professional qualifications in order to get more money. Whatever, and it's almost kind of like whatever the emotional and mental challenges that you've had to work through. This is absolutely about working through it. The hard work will pay off. And you know what? Certainly with this card of Virgo, which links with the Hermit, when you focus on doing the productive things, putting in the hard work, certainly in terms of your money and career, you change your energy from within as well. So let's do the practical things to work through whatever this was, the Five of Cups. Because that's how you get control. That's how you regain your power. That's how you start to shape your life and your world the way you want it, like the Emperor does. Not the world acting on you. As we can feel in this energy. Saturn in Sagittarius. But you acting upon the world, bringing greater stability and security into your life. Now, the Emperor can also talk about structure, getting structure, routine, order. If you feel that your life's gone a little bit chaotic, this is absolutely about taking control on every level and bringing new structure, routine, um, you know, order into your life. He is a great person of order. Can also be linked to an opportunity in a large organization. Uh, you're talking national, multinational as well. So I certainly feel for some of you that there is opportunity around you very much in terms of business and career. Some of you are liberating yourself from whatever the Seven of Swords was. And the fool doesn't look back, he only looks forward. He's interested in what's, what's ahead, as is the, the Knight of Wands. It's beautiful energy, Gemini. And it's all because you're going through a deeply transformative time of letting go of the old and embracing the new. Trust what's ahead. Work through it, because there's opportunity around you right now to further yourself, certainly in terms of money and career. The Emperor is the Empire Builder. And I certainly feel for you, whatever you're going for, Gemini, you're going to get there. You're going to get there. It's very good in terms of opportunity, furthering yourself, business ventures, <clears throat> financial loans and um, restabilizing your life for the better a solid platform to really empire build yeah so just trust that there is greater expansion growth better things ahead by letting go of the old it's beautiful because I certainly feel for some of you the goal is the rainbow of blessings that's coming your way <clears throat> what do we have, Angel Spirits Guides? What is the message for Gemini? We have purity. Always trust the purity of your heart. Look inside your heart and within it you will find the answer to your question. Yeah. The answers lie within. Be guided by, be guided by your light. Your instincts. Your wisdom, your knowledge. You know, with the full energy, you know best. <clears throat> take that chance, take that leap of faith. Because I think it's leading somewhere wonderful. And I think in terms of money and career, whatever this loss was, whether it was relationships or job losses, there is an opportunity to further yourself. Beautiful. I hope you enjoyed the reading, Gemini. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I hope it's a wonderful month for you and I will see you next time. Thank you.